Much has really been going. It's time for my skincare routine and I'm going to be using products from K-Secret and I also wanted to thank them for sponsoring this video. So K-Secret is a Korean skincare brand and takes you on a journey towards the natural beauty of your skin. I'm going to be introducing you guys to my top three favorite skincare products from K-Secret for keeping my skin hydrated in the chilly and cold weather. So the first product that I'm going to be using is the Advanced Regenerating Eye Gel Patches. So as you can see, these eye patches come in two different sizes. The big patches are to cover more and the small patches are for intensive care. So these eye patches are great for improving skin texture and reducing wrinkles. These are also the very first Retinol K-Beauty Hydrogel patches. I just love how these feel on my skin. Next, I'm going to be using the Collagen Vita Secret Multi Balm. So this multi balm is perfect for glowy skin. It gives my skin an instant glow as you can see. The multi balm also has pure vitamin C 15% for effective skin pigmentation care. It just makes my skin so glowy. Look at that. The advice for sensitive skin is using the retinol patches and the multi balm together. These two ingredients are very strong so when used together they may cause irritation. And that brings me to the last step which is the collagen boosting secret sun lotion. As you guys can see, the contrast between the radiance of the side where I didn't apply the sun lotion and the side that I did, it's so much more glowy and radiant. This product is SPF with an instant glow effect. It's a 5-in-1 multi-day cream with hydrolyzed collagen. It's also really lightweight and it feels like a lotion. And now both sides are so glowy. So that is the end of my skincare routine. Make sure to check out K-Secret. I will have all the items linked in my description box down below wearing a cap because my hair is kind of greasy also after watching duna i've been wanting to wear caps more because susie looked so good in them oh my god i just got it on my floor this is my outfit for today this top is so cute. It's a set. It's this tank top and this long sleeve. My whole outfit is from Lukin.
I'm back home from school and right now it's 10 p.m. But I still don't have dinner, so I'm gonna make this instant bubble kit that I have at home. I was randomly craving bubble so I'm gonna make this even though it's late to have dinner. Look at how cute this Hello Kitty bowl is. It's Christmas themed. Dinner is ready. Mm. Since this was instant, it was so easy to make. final like the last episode i'm like so confused anyways the attack on titan final episode is out and so many people are talking about it so many of my friends are watching it honestly i wasn't gonna watch because i read the manga like two years ago so i know how it ends and everything but since it was a while ago i don't remember much i remember when i finished the manga i literally cried but i just wanted to watch the last episode instead of watching the whole last season because my attention span is so bad i can't watch anime anymore i haven't watched anime in so long like the last time i watched anime was during the summer when i was catching up with jujitsu but i stopped watching that too which i'm kind of sad about because i was so into jujitsu but now for some reason i just can't watch anime like i'm not the same person i was three years ago when i could binge like 12 episode or 24 episode animes oh my god i just found it it's an hour long it's so weird to think that attack on titans like completely over now because i used to watch it while it aired i remember waiting for season three back in high school and now i'm in my third year of union now it's all over oh my god <laughs> no because i remember being obsessed with that manga panel and that line Wait, I'm so stupid. This is the one that came out on March 3rd, so it's not the final episode. <gasps> oh my god. No, not the scar. Stop, the last line just gave me chills. Hi guys, right now it's 5.43 p.m. I skipped class today because I pulled an all-nighter yesterday finishing my marketing assignment. A funny story is I didn't even know it was due today until yesterday when I opened my class just to check due dates and I saw a 25% assignment due for today. So I started panicking because I didn't even know about it and I only had a day to do it. So I pulled an all-nighter last night and I slept past 7 a.m. So I decided to just skip my lecture because it was at 8.30 a.m. I was actually just not gonna sleep and go to that lecture because I wanted participation marks but I just fell asleep by accident and I woke up at like 3 40 p.m. Um, anyways now I have to get ready because I'm seeing the Five Nights at Freddy's movie I'm so excited. I don't know if you guys know but I used to be obsessed with Five Nights at Freddy's when I was in middle school I always played the game on my iPad I remember even during class I played it and once I got jump scared I would literally like scream out loud in class and I would always watch the theory lore videos about Five Nights at Freddy's I feel like lately I haven't really been updating you guys or like talking too much about my personal life in my videos but yeah i also wrote a midterm yesterday i wasn't too prepared for that midterm we couldn't really study for it because it was all just long answer writing but i'm just glad that's out of the way and now i don't have any more midterms or finals for this semester which is crazy because i remember last year i had so many like finals and midterms but none of my courses have finals this semester i'm just so excited for winter break now because i have something planned and you guys are gonna find out soon i still feel so tired and my brain just feels so fuzzy right now from doing that assignment in that time crunch but honestly nothing much has really been going on in my life i have been staying home a lot because one of my classes got moved online because of my prof so i rarely go on campus but honestly i've been loving this 
lifestyle staying at home a lot but i also feel like that kind of makes my videos sometimes less fun to watch i don't know since there's not much going on in my life i don't really have that much to film these days and i'm worried my videos are just like kind of boring but i'm sure a lot of you guys who watch my videos know that i'm gonna be entering like a new chapter in my life soon in january when i go study abroad so i'm just really excited to film all that i know a lot of you guys are asking me to film study abroad vlogs of course i will and document all of it for you guys i don't even know what i'm rambling about but i think i'm gonna be running late soon so i will see you guys when i'm all ready now that is november it's so cold it genuinely feels like winter now just wearing a very comfortable outfit <laughs> oh yeah why are you like glitching <laughs> Oh, wait, why is it empty? I know. I'm not actually doing anything. How small the bag is. Apparently anything fits in here. Lip tint, ear pods, my compact mirror. I don't need my wallet because I have Apple Pay. <laughs> Hi guys, today is a Friday and I just finished getting ready because I'm gonna be heading to the mall. I have to buy my sister's birthday present today because her birthday's tomorrow and I still didn't get her anything. I kind of dressed up a bit today because I haven't really had a lot of opportunities to do my makeup and wear cute fits lately. So this is my outfit, very winter girl, cozy. I'm also wearing out my new Chanel bag. I haven't really worn it out a lot. This is only my second time wearing it out, but it's so cute, I'm obsessed. This is the jacket my sister wants, but it's so expensive. <laughs> my sister's birthday gift. She better be thankful. <laughs> Today is my sister's birthday, so I'm getting ready right now to go out for dinner. We're going to a Chinese restaurant, but after that, I also have my friend's birthday to go to at like 9 p.m. So I have to get ready for both of those right now, but I only have like 15 minutes to get ready right now. I gave my sister her present and she really liked it because she's been wanting that specific jacket from... I don't know how to pronounce the brand. Arcteryx. Arcteryx. Yeah, a jacket from that brand. Also guys, my hangnail is hurting so bad right now. By now, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know I have a really bad habit of biting my hangnails. I picked and bit at this one so much. You literally see like flesh. That was the fastest I've done my makeup. It's my sister's birthday. What do I say? Happy birthday. 
Can I say your age? She's old now. Because no one knows how old she is. I mean, if you had stalked her Instagram, you'd probably know her. Thank you so much. Happy birthday to you. I finally got the Adidas Sambas. I've been wanting these for a while now, but they were always sold out, especially in Canada. They were out of stock everywhere. So I had to buy them on the US site and then ship it to my sister's boyfriend's place in the US. And then he finally brought them for me. I'm really happy because I waited a while for these. I still haven't tried them on or worn them out. So I'm gonna try them on right now. I feel like these shoes match any outfit. I'm wearing my pajama pants right now. So I'm gonna change. So when I try the shoes on, it doesn't look weird. It's still hard to put shoes on this foot sometimes because a lot of you guys probably remember that I tore my tendon in Korea when I tripped and fell and I had to wear a brace for like a month but my ankle still hasn't healed fully and I actually visited my family doctor recently and he said that tendon injuries are really hard to heal so there's a possibility that my ankle won't be healed fully forever <laughs> I still can't straighten or bend my ankle fully so yeah it's a little concerning but anyways the shoes are on this is what they look like Next I have this package. She also has a shop and I'll put it on the screen, but oh my god guys Receiving this package just made my whole day not even day like my whole year It just made my heart feel so warm So basically she emailed me a drawing that she drew of me and said that she was going to make it into a keychain And she was asking me if I wanted to receive it and if she could send it over to me So she actually sent over the package and it finally arrived. I already opened it But I put it back in here so I can unbox it again with you guys. She's just the sweetest and if you're watching this thank you so much again words can't describe how much this means to me she sent me a picture of this drawing through email and isn't it the cutest drawing ever so she basically made this drawing into this keychain it's so adorable that's me i don't know where i want to put it yet and i'm scared to put it on my bag or something in case i lose it and then she also drew this picture which is a lookbook of some of my fits and they're all fits i wore in my instagram pictures i didn't know she was sending this over as well so when i opened the package and saw this i was like because it's so cute her art style is so pretty. She also gave me some Miffy stickers along with this bunny keychain. And then the biggest surprise was this J photo card. I did not expect this at all. So when I opened the package and saw this, I was shocked. I never had this J photo card, but I've always wanted it. 